Win at home on Afternoon Express, where three design contestants are turning three empty properties at Valdivia Estate in the Cape Islands into dream homes using finishes provided by Caesar Stone and Plascon. Vote for your favourite and you could win. Yes, get excited, it's that time for Winner Home on Afternoon Express. Now today is the deadline for our design contestants' master bedrooms and they've been working around the clock to get them done in time. Let's head over to Valdivy to see what they've produced. First up, ladies and gentlemen, is Rudolf Jordan. Interestingly, he's taken his interior design inspiration from international fashion design. It's time to see if his design dream came true. Yeah, the space is looking amazing. We mentioned this idea of you being inspired by international fashion design. Uh, talk us through how you incorporated that. Yes, I was inspired by Ralph Lauren, which is synonymous with the polo lifestyle. And what I do like about his style is that it's very masculine, but it's also very soft. I went with darker greens. It's a color that is associated with both male and female. But then I also contrasted it with a lot of charcoals, which he also uses, and dark blacks. I love that you've handcrafted a lot of stuff in here. Maybe you haven't yourself, but you've brought in a lot of handcrafted uh, items in here. Talk us through them. Yeah, it was really important for me to carry on that, that theme of handmade items. So we have some handmade ceramics, which are beautiful. I have a handmade um, throw over here, made from felt. And then we also have some other basket way that it really adds a bit of texture to the space. How have you chosen to express yourself in this room? I looked at the architectural elements. We have point, line, shape, and form that I've incorporated in the space. And I think it all pulls together in the end. As an example, we can see that the set of lines used in the headboard would then become this back wall panelling which are squares and that shape would then become a form in the Ottoman scene in the dressing room. I think Anne's going to be very happy with your colour choices. I think Ark are going to really like your design inspiration. It's all basically going to come down to uh, marketability with Simon. Yeah, well, I think the space is ready for anyone to really move in and that makes it a good seller. Mm -hmm. And on that point, I'm going to draw the line and tell you that I think you're on form. I'm honestly really impressed with Rudolf's master bedroom. Up next, Joanne Fenter. Joanne! <laughs> what the heck? Hi! Are you sleeping on the job? Oh uh, yeah, it's been a really hectic week. Really. Oh, I'm so tired. Man. But it's done, is it? Is it done? Basically, everything's done, yes. My out of the box headboard idea, I went into the wall. So the people that are moved in here can have a beautiful storage space to put anything they want in here. And the grey and greenish cotton linen fits perfectly with the timber floors. Then I have these amazing lamps that are dimmable. So when you go to sleep, you can just dim them a little bit and then up again when you're awake or want to see more, want to read. What do you think each judge will say? I think Anne is going to say that it's matchy-matchy again because I'm using in the mood uh, again and um, I am bringing black through uh, in, in, in a few elements and I'm using concrete again and all of the natural colours again. I think Ark will like what I've done with the trusses because I exposed the structure of the architecture. From what I've seen so far, Simon really likes the idea of having mirrors in these rooms because it opens up the space and so I think he'll love that. One thing that I have noticed though is that you've only got two drawers for storage. I have added the storage space in the built-in closets. They are exposed closets so you'll be seeing the clothes but that's really trending at the moment so I think they should reconsider if they think that it looks unfinished. Okay, well Stefan has said when he walked into the space, he said she's kind of going for that incomplete look and I can kind of see that. I mean, there's certain elements that aren't quite finished just yet and some elements that are quite minimalist. What are you? So I'm going for the minimalist look. Like that is what they're going to get from me, and I, I'm going to stand behind it. I really like it. That's who I am, and I, I think it's trending and it looks amazing. Well, Shwane, well done. I know it's been a long two weeks. You are exhausted. Head back to bed and your quality products. Thank you. <laughs> it's all over to our judges now. I wonder whether they'll say Shwane or Shwane. Yay. <laughs> Last but not least, Minente. So Minente, I'm really proud of you, my friend. After the big stress of the last time, you've managed to complete this on time. It's looking incredible. Uh, thank you very much. I must say I'm very proud of myself. Well, Minente, it's bold, it's exciting, and I really love all the elements you brought together. But what are your three favorite things in this room? Definitely my feature wall. Um, I like how I played around with the different Plascon colors. Uh, as I felt, I played it too safe with the guest bedroom. I like how it's very bold, so I'm expecting people to either like it or not. Hoping they like it. I really love it. 
And secondly, definitely the bed. I couldn't help it but uh, go for the, a similar frame. This one is timber compared to the other one that was steel and the color is very light as I say, I was keeping the room very monochromatic. And thirdly, uh, definitely my, my built-in cupboards, which were like done in the day. That, that was like the main thing I was stressing about, so I'm quite happy with those. Over and above them being done on time, I'm very happy with the aesthetic look of them. I have these huge mirrors, which definitely make the room seem bigger. In terms of practicality, they're very practical. They have a great deal amount of storage, which I feel uh, Simon's gonna like, because it pretty much adds value to the room. And Bell did say to you that this room needs to become a hard-working space. How did you try and achieve that? Looking at Valdivy, it's very far, so I would definitely consider that uh, a person might want to work mm. in the room. I have a desk and a chair, and I've created this nice workspace. Well, dude, you're really living up to your name. This room is there on all levels. Well done, man. <laughs> Proud of you. Proud of you. <laughs> the thing. Well, I'm not surprised about the quality of work our three design contestants have delivered in their master bedroom. It just goes to show what hard work and determination can bring. It's over to our judges now, though, and you at home can vote for your favorite on privateproperty.co.za. Well, let's take a look at how well each of our design contestants stuck to their budgets. Minentle for Team L Decoration had a projected budget of 89,852 Rand. They actually stuck very close to their budget with a total of 88,851 Rand spent. His biggest expense was the built-in cupboards of 39,017 Rand. Joanne and Team Vizi had a conservative projected budget of 45,500 Rand. They ended up way over budget with 77,200 Rand spent. That's a difference of 31,700 Rand. Crazy. Rudolf and Team Real Estate had a massive projected budget of 135,000 Rand. In the end, he only spent 118,420 Rand, which is under his projected budget, but still far higher than the other design contestants. Remember, if you can vote for your favorite master bedroom and stand a chance to win big, here's how. Vote for your favorite design contestant's master bedroom on privateproperty.co.za and stand a chance of winning Plascon paint to the value of 5,000 Rand. You also automatically get entered into the draw to win one of the three finished apartments valued at over 3 million Rand. Winner Home is proudly brought to you by Private Property in association with Nedbank.